One, two, three, four. Welcome to the Bella DeFranco Show, the show that is the best show that's not really a show, but it's me talking to a camera for three, four minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello, Wednesday. Now, this may be weird, but I want to start off today by talking about this article I was reading on a legitimate, legitimate news website. It was about men married to porn stars. Which you could think, oh, that would be awesome. You have this sexaholic hot wife. That has to be awesome. No. The more I read the article, the more I realized these people live the most oppressed existence ever. Because most of these guys are married to women that have sex with dudes all day. And because of porn rules, they aren't allowed to have sex with them like a day before the shoot. Not to mention, some of these dudes just midday, they're relaxing, get a call like, Sorry, honey, I'm at the hospital. I was shooting a scene and I got ripped by Ken. And then you have to think of the catalog of guys that she's banging. And then you realize, oh, okay, that's the dude with the nickname The Human Wine Bottle. That's not a good Wednesday. And then I started thinking, what would it be like if I was a male porn star? And I started researching it. And it turns out male porn stars on average only make $40,000 a year. And for straight male porn stars, most of the time for them to even make any decent money, they have to go gay. And it made me giggle. Because it's a career that you go in to fuck. And then you have to be fucked or you are fucked. Food for thought. Now guys, just to get our Wednesday started, let's have our douchebag of the day. And our douchebag of the day comes from Atlanta, Georgia. And our douchebag is a 61-year-old man who saw a little baby at Walmart and he was like, why won't you stop crying? And so he slapped it until it stopped crying. The man went to court, I imagine, saying, not Guilty. I warned her. To which I imagine he thought the judge would go, Oh, he warned her. Case dismissed. I can't believe I even had to try this case. Now to go fly on my magical unicorn to Mars. But that was actually the man's case. He warned the parent. He was like, You need to shut that baby up or I will. And you know what? I hate children so much, I almost agree. But he shouldn't have slapped the baby. Slap the parent. And I know I have some parents watching the show now. They have young children. Yes, you. I hate your crying baby. Let me Dr. Seuss it for you. I hate your baby on a plane. I hate your baby on a train. I hate your baby. Here and there, I hate your baby everywhere. Throw your baby against a wall, kick your baby while it crawls. These thoughts I think I must, but wrong I know I trust. Myself to stop it, but I can't, so I'll continue this YouTube rant. And parents may be thinking, Phil, you don't understand, you don't have a kid. Yeah, and that's not an accident. When I go to Walmart, I want to buy something cheap and judge the people there. They make me feel better about myself. And I can't do that with your baby there. So the main moral of this story is, one, don't smack babies, that's wrong. And two, don't have children either, or something. And for those of you wondering, the man who smacked the baby just got six months in jail. And let me know what you think about that penalty? Too much? Too little. And not surprisingly, Avatar is in the news again, not because it once again beat out all other movies money-wise, but because a Taiwanese man watching the movie was actually killed. The doctor's explanation? The movie was so amazing, it overwhelmed the man and caused him to have a stroke. I mean, I thought my mind was blown with that movie. Holy God! But then again, maybe that just shows your movie is that awesome. Like, if you're the graphics guy behind Finding Nemo, you're like, yeah, that movie did really well, it was awesome. A dude from Avatar is like, my movie fucking killed a dude. Of course, that conversation happens in my imagination nation where graphics guys have friends. And a quick reminder, I feel bad when I do this, but if you leave your Facebook open on a public computer like at an Apple store, this will happen. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with liking butt sex and testicles. I mean, people can do that all the time. It doesn't really affect me. I mean, I don't really care. But it's funny. Proving once again that life isn't fair, Haiti was hit with another earthquake. I imagine because killing 100,000 people out of nowhere just isn't enough. But the weird thing about it is less people probably died because the buildings have already collapsed. Crazy. And guys, for you slow ones, once again, your question of the day is, what do you think about a six-month penalty of having to go to jail too much or too little, and why? But guys, that's really all that mattered to me this Wednesday. My name's Philip DeFranco, and you've just been filled in. <laughs>